Hello, today we're going to talk about how to use AI for YouTube automation and affiliate marketing. So AI tools are all the rage now. There's tons of them out there, lots of good options. I'm going to show you a couple that I use and how I integrate those in creating um, what we call YouTube automation or basically faceless YouTube videos where you don't have to show your face like I am on this video um, and how you can use these uh, pieces of software to really simplify the task of making videos that you can upload to YouTube and get free traffic from YouTube uh, when people are searching. And a lot of times your videos also will rank in Google. So let's jump right in. Uh, first, you're going to want to, you know, find a product. There's lots of different affiliate platforms where you can find great products to promote. A couple popular ones that I uh, promote products from is Share a Sale and also good old Amazon. So we're just going to go ahead and use Amazon. One of the things to do is, is to um, try to take advantage of popular products that are, you know, top sellers. So if you go into Amazon, go into best sellers, and then um, I like to go into the health and household section where we'll look for vitamins, minerals, and supplements. Okay. And so you want to pick some, you know, since Amazon does pay lower commissions, it's good to maybe pick something that, you know, costs a little more like this one might be good. It's a $50 payout, lots of reviews. Um, here's another one, $32 and 45,000 reviews. Okay, so let's click on that. And we're going to get a little bit of information. Now, the nice thing is you'd love to see, you know, some of this information about the item. Or if you scroll down further, um, you know, getting, you know, hopefully they have other information about the product that you can uh, either highlight and copy. Like some of these are images, so we can't really highlight and copy these. Uh, or again, here you could, you know, maybe use this information. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, grab this. So let's go ahead and take this information. And we're going to come into uh, ChatGPT. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask it to write a YouTube review script about the following information. Okay. And then you want to hit shift enter and then paste in everything we just did. And let's hit go. Uh, and so now it's spitting out our script. And so while it's working on that, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over and show you uh, the other software we're going to use called Pictory. Pictory is a great software that makes it so easy to create these faceless videos that um, you can make them easily, you can make them quickly, they're very high quality, and then you upload them into uh, YouTube. And so, let's see, it's going, it's going. And what we're going to do once uh, ChatGPT is done, we're going to take this script, and so here's the other thing we can do, right? We can go, because what a lot of, while well, it's finishing the script, what a lot of people do when they're searching online, they might come, they might look at this, um, but then they're going to say, let me grab this product name. Let me go into, I'm going to open up an incognito window because this is what people would do. They would go to Google, they would put that product name in there and they might say review or they might just put the product name. Let's just do it that way. And they're going to see what comes up and because they're going to want to go and do other reviews. And so here you see this is the company site. Here's Amazon. Um, and as you can see, there's no videos on this page, right? And so you have a very good chance of your video appearing here because there are no videos coming up. But this is what a lot of, a lot of people do. The other thing they do is they just go to YouTube and they put the product name again into the search bar and see if there's review videos. And so here you can see, you know, it looks like there are maybe a couple of them. Um, they're not necessarily, there's only one really that's this Garden of Life um, probiotic. The rest are kind of just, it looks like other other things. Um, but there's a few. So you got, again, a chance that you're going to get your video ranking on YouTube as well. So let's go back. Let's go into chat GPT. Okay, so it's done. Let's go ahead and copy the script. So this is the script we're going to use in our video. 
All right, and we are going to take that and we're going to come over inside my Pictory account. And Pictory does lots of different, has lots of different um, tools inside it that you can use. We're just going to use this script to video, click proceed, and then we paste the script in here. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit, so I'm going to pause the video while I take a minute to do that. Okay, and so I basically just kind of broke this up into short uh, sentences or phrases so that it'll make it easier for Pictory to create a nice looking video. And then all we're going to do is go to scene settings, create a new scene on, I like to choose line breaks because that's why I split all those up. And then when we hit proceed, it's going to take us to all the different templates that Pictory offers, which are dozens and dozens and dozens of them. And if you just simply, you know, hold the cursor over you'll see the different ways that the text comes in some have background some don't don't um, worry about the background color or the font or the text color because you can change all of that as i'll show you once we get into the editor so mostly you just want to find one that you like the way it looks we're just going to go ahead and grab this one and then we're making youtube videos but you can also do vertical and square. So we're going to hit that and continue. And now what Pictory is going to do is it's going to go out, and this is kind of the AI part, it's taking the words from our script and it's going to try to find appropriate uh, video clips for each of those lines. Each of those lines will make up a scene, as we'll see shortly in the editor. And then it's going to try and find an appropriate video clip. And it usually does a really good job. Uh, you do want to go through scene by scene and make any any changes if you need to. Okay, so now here we, here we are. Let me get myself out of the way. Here we are inside of the video editor. And the main menu in Pictory is over here along the left-hand side. So we'll kind of go through this. Right now we're in the story or the script. And you can see it's taken each of those lines that I inputted and made it into scenes. So here's scene one, scene two, scene three. You can drag and drop, you know, move these around if you need to. You could link them if you need to. Also below the main video, you can see the scenes down here as well. Um, now, like I said, if you click on the text, now you see this text editor opened. And so you can go ahead and change. Maybe we want to use um, Open Sans font, so it'll change that. Maybe we want a little smaller text. We want size 30. So you can change that. There's lots of other options that you can change. And here's where you can change the actual text color, the background color, and the highlight color. So you can change all of those things here. And then if you, if you want to use this throughout the entire video, just make sure you click this Apply to All, and it'll apply it to every single scene in the video. Now, the next thing you want to do once you have your text uh, the way you want it is go to Visuals. And you want to go through Scene by Scene. And make sure the the background video for the scene is appropriate you know to the text so for this first one today i want to share my thoughts on the doctor formulated once daily woman's probiotic um, so you know that might be fine but it's kind of a woman doing skin care and so instead you can come over here and see what other options there are or you can search for options so i might change it to this one and so i'm going to go ahead and just click on it and that'll make it the background uh, image instead and then I can you know scroll through the scenes either down below or through these arrows let's go to scene two it says I was really impressed by the level of care and expertise that went into creating the product and so it's kind of showing you know medical lab setting so that's that's fine uh, one of the things that stood out to me was a focus on digestive health so the stomach so that's fine or you could say maybe you want to you know search for a difference so you could say let's search for stomach um, video clips and so maybe you want something like this okay that's a little more obvious that it's the stomach um, so you can do something like that and then you just go through one by one and change um, any of the clips so like we want to change that's a set of lungs obviously this is talking about you know stomach stuff right um, so again we might ch choose this one because it's going to talk about support and promote overall wellness right so we might use that one again um, <clears throat> once you go through and get all the scenes in place, then they do have these elements that you can use. I, I really don't use these too much, but just to sh so you know what they are, the stickers that you can add, um, GIFs that you can add, and emojis that you can add as an overlay to that. So let's say, you know, we want to use this one. So you click on it, and it'll appear, and you can drag it around, you can resize it, um, etc. So... That, that's how those work. 
pretty straightforward. You can delete it. Audio, you can, they have over 15,000 background music tracks that you can choose from. You can sort them by mood, purpose, genre, duration. It'll automatically apply what it thinks is appropriate. You can preview it. You can listen to it, see if you like it or not, and change it if you need to. You can save it as favorites if you want. They do have AI voiceovers. Um, you can sort by region. So you can see all the different regions. You can sort by male or female. And one that I use commonly is this South African English. And so I just, if you click apply, now it's going to add the AI voiceover to the entire video. But you can also upload your own voiceovers if you have them. Uh, if you do it yourself or if you get someone to make a voiceover for you, you can upload it. You can also upload your own background music if you have that as well. And you can alter the text, that's where you do that here, or add additional text if you want, um, besides what's already there. You can also, you can obviously edit the text just by clicking on it. You can add words, change words, etc. Um, this is where you could adjust the styles if you have maybe an intro or outro style. Again, this is where you could uh, change the defaults. Uh, branding, if you're doing videos for company purposes, you can upload a logo, uh, say where you want that logo on the screen, how big you want it, the opacity, etc. And then lastly, on format, you do want to make sure you come through and change it to the resolution to 1080p. And then you can also change it to a vertical or square video at this point as well. And so once you have everything the way you want it, it'll generate a preview if you want. So you can watch the video, make sure it's the way you like it. And if it is, when you're ready, then just go to Generate and Video, and in a few minutes, it'll generate a nice MP4 file that you can then upload to YouTube. Put your Amazon description link in the description box down below, and that is the, uh, if we go to Scenes, I did add that in the text box. The last scene is going to be, uh, check it out using the link in the description below to see pricing. Obviously, we need to change this. Um, background but it's directing people to look in there and the other nice thing is when people because again a lot of people they will they'll they'll take the name of the product and they'll go to google and search for more information because obviously you know the information they're getting here is biased from the seller and so they might be looking for independent reviews and so they'll put that in google and remember youtube is just a search engine it's a search engine um, for video content versus uh, a search engine like Google, which is for text content. And so, uh, the, so a lot of times they'll go into YouTube and search, put in, and, you know, copy and paste the title of the product there. And so you can rank in, uh, as I showed you in YouTube, when people are searching for that title. Um, but <clears throat> if you optimize your um, video well, then there's a good chance it'll show up on the Google search page also. Because many times, you know, they will put a video near the top of the search results, which will definitely help in getting traffic. So I hope you found this video helpful. I will leave links in the description box down below for all the different things I talked about uh, in the video. And uh, if, you, if you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. And give me a thumbs up as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate uh, 